me staying consistent, giving out these videos every week, stop scheduling meetings that could have been five minutes, that are like five, ten minutes, that could have been put in an email. What we should not be doing is what you did on the weekend, what your dog did, what your cat did, what you baked. What's up you guys, it's the girl Abby Ollie and welcome back to another video y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Not me, staying consistent, giving out these videos every week, every Monday, sometimes on Tuesday, but every Monday, not me. She been consistent or whatever. Oh shoot. Okay y'all, so I have been working from home for the last year. It's been a year since we marked in lockdown and I am forever grateful. I am grateful that I still have a job. I am grateful that I get to work from home. I am not complaining about that. But there are some things that I've learned and some things that just irk me from working from home that I just gotta share with y'all. So let's just jump into the first one. First one, number one, definitely take your breaks and be and value your time um beginning of quarantine we ha we had to just like figure it out um going on meetings and stuff like that and when i tell you that it was meeting upon meeting upon meeting to the point where we had to purposefully schedule a block between 12 to 1 so that way we people could have their lunch y'all like we are more productive working from home obviously you don't have to worry about train commute yada 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 you don't have to go from from room to room to a building blah 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 i mean room to room for a meeting blah 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 but definitely take your time take your breaks value your time there was a lot of things that i had to put boundaries on just because i wasn't gonna be able to do it in the amount of time and yes i'm working from home but my hours are not for like my whole day is not scheduled to work from home it's not scheduled to this company and I had to learn and still kind of learning because sometimes I forget to take my breaks and my lunch breaks so I guess this is a two-part take your breaks take your hour lunch um, take a mini 15 minute break like you normally do when you would go get a second cup of coffee or um, a little walk around because you do realize how much you just stay like you'll start your day at nine and then next thing you know it's five o'clock and then it, it just gets into a habit so i definitely learned that part take your lunch take your break value your time yes you're working from home but <laughs> trust and believe you need fresh air and you need your breaks and god forbid something happens you could be replaced in a second so make sure you're taking care of yourself and take your time that is needed for mentally, emotionally, and physically. Number two, which will go kind of go hand in hand because I kind of gave like one A and one B. But number two is be more active. Um, before, beginning of the quarantine, I was a little bit better. Um, even though I was wor working throughout the day, I would take my breaks and I would work out. But I definitely got a little lazier, a little more, less unmotivated. And throughout that process, I wasn't going outside, I wasn't going for walks, I wasn't going, being any active. I was just laying up in the bed, answering emails, doing my work, and just staying in some. And then sometimes it would be days before I've even stepped out in the house, which is bad. So I definitely advise that you guys stay active. It's been a struggle for me, I'm not gonna lie. Your girl has been going through it. But I do my best to at least go out as much as possible. It doesn't happen every day and it's still a work in progress. Don't judge, only God could judge me. But you know what, we do what we gotta do and keep on pushing. So that is number two. Number three, this is going to be on a broader discussion. Zoom slash Microsoft Teams meetings. Now, um, great way to have a meeting with every with multiple people. We found a solution since we can't be in public spaces, blah, blah, blah. Um, what we're not going to do is, there's a two part to this. What we should not be doing is talking about for long, long periods of time, what you did on the weekend, what your dog did, what your cat did, what you baked, okay? This is a 30 minute mini where we just wasted 10 minutes talking about what Bobo the Clown or Benji or Benji or whatever your dog name is did this weekend. I don't care. I'll repeat, I don't care. 
y'all and that's why sometimes I can't with these meetings like I keep my camera off a lot of times but like I don't care what you did and I also I hate they'll either do it at the beginning of the meeting or they'll do it after so instead of this being a 30 minute meeting or an hour meeting which we already have to be in we're going over 10 minutes five minutes talking about personal stuff that I don't care about I mean, that's what we're gonna do okay at 8 a.m 9 a.m 12 o'clock 5 that's what we decide to do I don't care keep it to yourself let's talk about what the meeting is and just keep it this is this meeting which will go into another segment but this meeting is already taking a part of my day I could have been working let's keep on track and this is the perfect segue into the next part which stop scheduling meetings that could have been five minutes that are like five ten minutes that could be put in an email an email just type okay but what do we decide to do we decide to schedule a whole 30 minute meeting to discuss something that only took about five minutes I could have read it and gave you a response in that time y'all I can't do it we I already talked to some of my friends about this and it's one of the most irking things and then you have the nerve again to talk about what you all did this weekend or baking yeah now taking personal days okay now I've I've actually got this from a friend of mine and I definitely have heard this before to, just because you work from home you still are entitled to personal days okay y'all if you need a mental break definitely do I've done it a mental day a day to the stop especially if it's been super super crazy take your days and also can we get summer Fridays back just because I'm working from home, I expect the same treatment to be from when I was in the office to at home, okay? Summer Fridays, all right? I'm already more productive. I'll be even more productive if I have a half day. So, bring those back. That is another point. Can we please bring them back? I don't know why we took them away. They were doing so good. And lastly, um, a lot of people have different tones. The keyboard OGs. Oh where your tone is real, real tough, real gangster with it when it comes to an email. But when I see you in person, you don't keep that same energy. Okay? Where, where, where? Keep that same energy. Fix your tone. Your tone. Your tone. Take your tone, tone down. Take, you take your, your down. tone down. Lower your tone. Fix your tone. I mean, there's some emails where it's just like, well, I would not my grandmother don't even talk to me like that. She blood. But yes, y'all, can we just, can we cut with it? Like keep that same energy when we match up or don't say anything at all, all right? Respectfully. Okay. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know I ranted a little bit, but I had to get things off my chest, okay? It was getting a little, it was building up. But if you want to see more videos like this, definitely comment down below. Also, comment down below anything else you are experiencing at your job. Um, I'm keeping mine very vague, okay? But I would love to hear from you and what y'all have experienced during this whole panorama, okay? So, thank y'all so, so much for watching. Before we end this video, definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, okay? That helps me continue to do all the stuff that I love to do for y'all, okay? We are on the road to 100 subscribers subscribers hopefully by end of April we shall see I hope y'all can help me get there and I appreciate y'all definitely share with everyone you know thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video okay bye